Hi, my name is Adam Walcott, I'm an award-winning gardener and today we're going to talk to you about the handy 200 kilogram garden trolley and we're going to show you everything that you'll find inside the box. This is everything you'll find in the box. We have the base unit, the side panels, the puncture-proof tyres, the handle, the axle mechanism and the fixing kit and please don't forget to read the instruction manual before beginning any assembly. Line up the fixed rear axle with the two holes. Place a bolt up and through the hole. Drop the washer onto the top and then just tighten the nut until finger tight. And don't forget to repeat the same on the other side but don't tighten the nuts fully until later on. It might also help when you're constructing this to have somebody else to help you. Now attach the rear axle supports like so. Line up the holes and again, tighten with a bolt. Bring the bolt up and through, underneath, add a washer, and then just finger tight the nut on top like so and repeat on the other hole. We've now attached the front axle to the base frame in the same way as the rear wheel axle. Just make sure, however, that the fittings are facing away from the rear wheel axle, as you can see here. We're now fixing in place the steering link connector like so, using the smaller size carriage bolt. Make sure you compare the two sizes as one is slightly larger than the other and you need the smaller size one for this part of the construction. Insert like so, drop the washer onto the top, then add the nut and tighten. We've now attached the central front axle brace like so with the bolts to the base frame. This is the part known as the yoke. Make sure when you construct it, the top part of the yoke is sandwiched between the top of the front chassis and the brace like so. And remember to use the large carriage bolt here and the smaller carriage bolt on the right hand side. The base part of the yoke very simply fits over the leg by dropping the hole over like so. We've now put the split pin through the top of the leg and opened it up like so to secure the base of the yoke in position. On the front wheel axle, you'll need to use a 10 mil and 13 mil spanner or ratchet as these are slightly different sizes from the bolts on the rest of the trolley. We're now gonna attach the wheels to the trolley. Make sure the tubular section is on the inside. Push onto the axle like so, then put the washer on the inside, followed by the nut, and tighten with a 19 mil spanner or ratchet. Tighten it all the way home, but don't over tighten. With the nuts and bolts now all fully tightened, you can put the trolley in its upright position. Make sure you use two people to flip this over into the upright position. Now fit the side lock handles through the holes on the side here, like so. Add the washer, and remember, tighten the nut loosely to begin with, like so. Finally, secure the nuts using a 13 mil spanner or ratchet, but don't over tighten. We're now gonna place the pull adapter onto the end of the handle, making sure the holes line up, and then place this into the end of the yoke again making sure all the holes line up before finally placing through the bolt. We've now connected the handle assembly by placing the bolt through the middle and tightening with a 12 mil spanner or ratchet and a flat headed screwdriver on the opposite side. Thank you for watching The Handy. Any questions, please leave a comment below and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.